I thought would be well, we passed this today and then if we want to modify it, we can always do that. So I think it's a, a showing a good hand of faith that we're going to do it out for the seniors that are involved in it. And if you want to go to modify it going forward. Yeah, we could do that. I, 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 I tend to agree with you. And that's fair. I guess my question is the only sticking point at number seven in here. Because we haven't seen an abuse. I, I'm still, no one has given you a good enough argument for it that the mayor gets discretion. Dave, Dave's the one who said that he he wants that one changed. I don't think that says that, does it? Well, the yeah, way it is now, the mayor has the discretion. That was never changed. Maybe if, if you would consider this. Um, right now, we do for the very low 50%, uh, and the limits are very, very low. If we would just change the low, um, that would be a bigger percentage of our uh, seniors. And um, for instance, if there's one person in the family, uh, very low would be 23,000. You don't have to tell your average person no. Number one would be 36,000. So we would increase it by 13,000 so we would cover. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 we'll look at it next year. I believe that's the way to go. Okay, third reading. Let's just get this on the table so we can take care of the people here. Ordinance number 114, 2015, Ms. Yeah. Ordinance appropriated the transfer of general funds to the law department to the obligation for the balance of the Well, I have reviewed all of the billing that we've had today, but we don't have any bills yet. For September, obviously, because we don't get those until October 10th. But uh, from what I can see, we were we were absolutely online with. Uh, we allocated originally thirty thousand for litigation. We were absolutely online with that. And uh, the July billing changed because of two two items, mostly the. The probate court issue with Mayor Fukta and the suit against the council by the mayor and Mr. Deemer. And those added up to uh, 10252 in cost in the basically the August bill for July. And then in the following uh, month, we ended up uh, with, uh, and that was about 60% of the billing. And then in the August billing, it was about 41% of billing at 8,562. So the total for those two cases is what is driving the variance offline. And uh, I think both of those should go to the Ethics Commission. I think Dave was talking about again with some of this over there. For the moment, then, there are a couple of other areas. The Cornelia Byrne O'Purr's case appears to be. Uh, and I'm not sure what that is, Mayor. Yeah. Is there a specific issue with this person? Because it's a former employee. And we've been, it's actually costing us, uh, in the one month period, it had cost us uh, about $1,500, and then it's been 500, 600 at times. I don't know why that particular one is such a problem. Uh, so at any rate, what I'm going to propose we do tonight uh, if someone can explain, can you explain why there were, um, I believe, I, I had it with me, but I think I saw it. Uh, what was the reason for any adjustment in the general 8,000 a month funding? And there was a request for 5,000 more for some reason. Because that's supposed to be 8,000. We have an executive session tonight. Talk to you about it. Okay, I will ask him at this point. I don't know of a reason for it. I think that we could go with, in terms of litigation, just based on what we have, other than those two cases. Uh, there is, right now, there, at the end of August, there, were about, there was about $1,000 left. And during September, I'm sure there's going to be more billing. Uh, and which will occur on October 10th. So 
you know, I'm perfectly willing, based on the analysis that I have of all of the different uh, costs, and I've gone through each one in detail, would to add another 15000 for for now for the litigation piece, and then if we need to put more in later on, then we can, but I, at this point, I don't see any reason to go beyond that. So, if people are willing to do that, then I'm willing to do that, or? But we have to do something, because that line item was at 97% spent at the end of August. Yes. We are now almost to the end of September. Right, we'll be building our so we'll put another 15 in, and we can have yeah. an executive session tonight. Okay. So we're going to uh, review every month because it looks like we spent 12 at Monka. So if we stay on the 12,000 every month, we're going to be back here review. Well, that was the interesting part. Uh, and then for the legal fees, 5340, we're at 73%. So well, we still have a quarter to go, more than a quarter, if, the, if those numbers. Okay. So we're going to Yeah, 15. You're going to modify it. Modify for 15, sorry. Right. With the understanding, we'll be back at the table. Are you okay with their meeting? We may or may not. Dave, you're okay with their meeting? Well, we yeah. will. Dan, well, you're okay with their meeting? We're 15. Dan, are you okay with their meeting? Well, vote on the floor. Okay. I, I'm just asking, otherwise, we're going to hold it at second. You're not comfortable going forward. Resolution number 118, Dave, could you please take that? That's a resolution to further the appointment of General Friedovich to the Planning Commission to fill a recent vacancy of a term ending July 3rd, 2020. That's a very long term. I think we should hold this as first reading. Could we get a, uh, some kind of a, a biography on this gentleman? He's former counselor. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but I'd like to see some. I think before we do this, every time we have an appointment with the mayor, something to do, and all we're doing is rubber stamping it. That if you're always going to ask this thing, then maybe you should put together what a resume would be that you want every candidate for every position, such as civil service, planning commission. I mean, let's make it a standard because that's every time we turn around and you say something different. Well, so and that's not fair to the person and, and who's Jan, being put we did, we did do that off of two years ago. Uh, Ken Martin made it a standard. He sat well, here when he was president or last ever he made it a standard that he wanted a resume going oh, yeah, forward. Right. He that's did. So that did happen. We were not here. City Council. Well, we are. And so we I never know, do I don't, I don't expect I agree with that. So he's the one that made the standard and we've okay. been following it. So. We have a position that's open. I advertise that position. I have had um, very few applicants. Uh, we need to do something. Mr. Prepec was present at the time where Macedonia took a direction in building. It started to improve the city and where it is aesthetic. So to me, that's a good choice. Okay. Maybe he doesn't have an architectural degree, but that's why we have architects to advise us. Well, if we could just see that done, we'll look at it and do it first reading tonight, and then we'll, we'll be able to get that. Thank I think if, if we continue to have a representative council to find them, we should do the exact same thing there. The okay. representative to finance or the representative to planning. I mean, if we're asking and holding the residents, then we should hold ourselves to that. We don't. We don't. May, may I ask you a question? This, I wanted to do it away from planning commission. But especially the last week, we get a whole bunch of emails the, the day of, of planning. And you know, some of us work, and, and sometimes I read them, and sometimes I'm out of the office all day. And I notice, and sometimes they're, they're dated Monday, and I understand that. But these were dated several days ahead of time. Could you talk to your staff and say, well, you know, you really need to get this stuff to the, the, the members of planning, you know, before Monday, because it really defeats the purpose. It, it kind of makes me walk in there thinking I have no idea what's going on and no time to think about it. Just, I'm not trying to be critical of you, Mayor. I just think that maybe you should discuss that with the uh, yeah. well, yeah. yeah. well, yeah. 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 I think I should say that Ed Morris, um, uh, Ed Morris, uh, just before when he got injured, uh, he was gone. We didn't have anybody at Morris for a long time. I mean, it was months before we ever got a replacement. 
it was spoken, and I believe you got um, uh, Mr. the one that's leaving right now. Yeah, that's who, um, that's who replaced him finally after months. I think it was like six, seven months before we even we got to replace him. So. And we, well, did, we voted unanimously for him. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, moving on. Ordinance number 119, uh, Sylvia, please take that. That's an ordinance authorizing the mayor to enter into a collective bargaining amendment to a uh, addendum with the collective bargaining units of the city of Macedonia in effect of January 1st, 2016. And I believe Sylvia, she mentioned she would like to hold this at first. Sylvia, do you know? Yes, I, well, actually, I, I think. Uh, you had a question for Don. Well, Basically, what we, we'd like, what I'd like to see them again would be uh, comparables with other cities around the area, uh, our size. Well, but we can, the we can, only one that I can really draw a line to is uh, Twinsburg. And I did bring some figures for Twinsburg. Uh, okay. Twinsburg, for instance, uh, we have figures comparing police departments. Okay. And uh, it's pretty interesting because we're asking for two and three quarter percent. Yes. And if you look at this, let me get them apart here. A patrolman will start in Macedonia for forty nine thousand plus two and three quarter percent. A patrolman starts in Twinsburg for fifty eight thousand plus three percent. They have three percent increase. Okay. So I do get that. Here. That is one of the reasons that John is always hard pressed to get people because they can make we get good people and lose them because they can make more money elsewhere. Well, obviously we don't want that. But here's here's what I'd like to see if you could provide, possibly provide it. I understand this comparison, but what I'm looking for is this: uh, we have a we've basically been through a series of raises uh, from about 25 forward, 3%, 3%, 2%, 2%, and now we're going to do, uh, in this wage rate opener, so we're suggesting that we go ahead with, uh, and with a 2.75%, and that may be all right. I, I really, but I'd like to see, see some comparison to other cities of our size as to how they, everybody in 9 and 10 didn't give anybody any raise, that I can tell you. Nobody, it was all zeros. But as we, come, we came out of the raise, well, they, actually, I have looked that up because. All right, I'd like to see that because uh, we had people that didn't get raises for three years, yeah. and other people were getting raises. They might have been 2%, but they were getting raises. So we, one of the things that, that you have to look at here is um, you want to see comparisons with other communities. One of the comparisons the union makes is the fact that Macedonia is becoming more south. Macedonia well, is course. in better shape. So therefore, we should be able to afford it. When we're in bad shape, they held back, did not ask for raises. Macedonia's economic condition has improved. If you go to another city, and as for that comparison, where did they stand as far as, well, like for instance, Twinsburg, they've been financially strong for mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. So they're ahead of us. But two and three quarter percent, these people would still be below what Twinsburg is. Well, I get that. And Twinsburg's always had a much bigger uh, industrial base and uh, those big hospital things and so forth. So they, they do have an ability to make pay for their civil servants that's different from ours. But all I was asking for is we, you know, it's not a well, but it's not a fair comparison. If, if you're a union person, you say, look, I was very much for keeping wages down when Macedonia had no money. And now Macedonia is getting stronger. So we would like to be paid more. But they're still not asking for what other cities are in. That's what I'm trying to get is, is to that, just that question. If we can look at kind of the 2012 through 2016 picture from a few other sample cities around here and see what they have increased the salaries uh, from to 
in that period, the percent they increase them. And that's all I'm asking. And we can go to first reading tonight. There's nothing to do that. So we can do that. If you can provide that, it would be very helpful. Yeah. You know what? We play this grand. We're sorry that we were tied together. We've already commercially done this, I think. Well, it's not going to affect our budget in a way that we're going forward. It's going to be detrimental to drink in. I really need some of the strong message on that. You knew the in our employees to say, hey, we're going to back with this. This is the way we're going to do it. We're going to be able to do this. He didn't know that. I think it really doesn't do anything to kind of say the wrong message. Well, we passed one in 20, as you recall, in 2013. They didn't pass it until December. So. Well, you know, it's not not an emergency here. As well, as in a way, uh, this is a good point because remember, this was strictly a wage mm -hmm. So where other people are not only getting three percent raises, they're getting other benefits. Uh, All we're be. doing is raising them yeah, to two and three quarters. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I mean, it's been it's been closer to the end of the year. It's not. We're not in a. Yes, no, right. So she's all in it. I understand everybody's position. Okay. I guess what I'm trying to say is if we send a little question to say, look, guys, we have to go to police and we care if we want to make a second part. When we get to the third, they vote. There's no reason to wait. Uh -huh. well, if we're going to pay it regardless, what's the point of waiting? We don't know that. We don't know what everybody's going to do. Well, I don't know. I feel, I'm just voicing the mic. Okay. Good. So you're going to talk your speaker. But we're going to vote on We're obviously going to vote Nobody knows how I'm going to vote until I vote. So, okay. so you, you want first free vote? Uh, yes. I think if somebody wants some information, she has that right to get that information from Don. If you wanted it, I would say, Don, you know, get them the information. Can I make a move? But they're four against it. Minus of the essence. This is a union contract. For those of us who have negotiated union contracts, on both sides of the table. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of time here because if you disagree with it, you're back to the table. This contract expires at the end of the summer. We don't have a lot of time, meaning we need to take action on this next month. Because if you decide you don't want to do it, and even if you decide you want to change the percent, that's back to the bargaining table. Right? I, I so that's not a problem. Well, I I don't know your background since I, I'm I, four, I, I, but I, I, I've been on both sides of this table, and I just want to remind folks, we don't have a lot of time. Okay. So we'll get the information. I'd like to see a vote on this at the well, next meeting. Yeah, I don't we think there's a lot. Of in one sitting, for the last <laughs> meeting, we had the amount of money that we approved for one resident for one house is more than twice as much as total raise for all our employees. So if you're looking that way. Oh, yeah. And we did that one read. One we, because it needed to be done. We, we certainly can address it. Uh, so you're going to get it done. We yeah, can get it done. That's right. Not, so we can move on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, right now I'm going for the 3% raise across the board. We need to talk for the State Employees Association as we're trying to put ourselves away for the rest of it. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to look that up on Google in two seconds. Well, it's well, we'll have to see. But you know, when we get the information, and we can talk it through. We've got even if we went three readings, we still have lots of time. I understand. I know. I remember. Yeah. Exactly. All right. We will not have a meeting on Thanksgiving. So next month. I'm just talking about it again. She's going to talk about it. Specifically, what is it you want to put it in writing so we don't come back to the table and say that Don didn't uh, give you what you wanted? Uh, I'm glad. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks. Um, ordinance number 120. Nick, could you please take that? That's an ordinance authorizing transfer of funds from general funds uh, fund to uh, 250-250-5342 for the payment of 2015 August 5th settlement. Mm -hmm. That has to be done. I don't even three readings. We have to I have the so. money in there. We do. We have to have the money in there. For the Is everybody okay with three readings? Yeah. Jan, are you okay? 
Well, there is a line. All we need to do is expand it and see whether we need to move on. Exactly. So we're going to do a third reading. Yes, as far as I know. We're doing three readings. And John, can you please announce? And John, can you please announce to that when the leaf collection will start? And that way, the people. All right, that's just one nice thing I thought. Thank you, John. Ordinance number one, can we go on to number two, three, three? Yes. Ordinance number 122, Jan, could you please take that? Um, an ordinance appropriating the transfer of funds from General Fund to Service Department for the pur uh, pur purchase of road material for pothole repairs for the remainder of 2015. Um, my opinion, I think this should be three readings, but you know, that's fine. I, 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 I read these. Okay. If you okay, Jan. Um, ordinance number 123, 2015. Nick, could you please take that? That's an order to authorize and transfer funds from general fund to account 101-120-5575 for the city computer maintenance. And also, I'd like to know what's going on if we're going to get this done. Because you and I made that motion about getting a look at these computers. We've talked so, about putting them on the motion for election. You asked them to get votes on. Yeah, we're going to vote for election. Yeah, well, that has to be in the new budget year. Here today. Yeah, and she said it's separate. Third reading, is everybody good on third reading? Yes. All right, third reading. All okay. right. Yep. We're good. I, I have a quick question because uh, something happened this week. Don, did you have a meeting with a couple of council members and uh, some uh, administration with uh, Chick fil A owner Dan regarding that cut group? No, this week. No, just at some at some time. No. Well, I thought it was a dead issue too, but um, there's never been any legislation or anything brought before us. So I was just wondering because um, he made a statement that um, that uh, that he had a meeting with you and some council members, and I didn't know anything about it. So yeah. He don't know where Chick Fil A. Yeah, I. Maybe he was referring to a previous time. Referring further No, it was just oh, yeah. recently oh, about recently. about he wants that cut through when they did um when Don had uh, done uh, some engineering. Yeah, I had heard he said so, it was going to be all privately funded, so which was my problem. Well, actually, uh, Dan has uh, his company has has paid for the traffic study already. Dan is very very aggressively trying to make this happen, and our problem is the uh, corporate giants. Well, comment was made to him that Sylvia Hannigan um, will not uh, uh, will not approve uh, funds for this cut through, and uh, well, it, she's no only funds. I understand, but she's only one person. But I I was just wondering who made that comment to the man because that's what he said. So he said to me, not to her. That was when he was here. She was staying here. Well, we had a meeting. He was here, guys. No, he, and no, he wasn't here. The, one of oh, his, his person was here. Yeah, yeah, there was a person. And yeah. well, everybody he told me when I ran into him that you had said when you're running for council that you fully support it would go ahead and get it. So no, I didn't. He not. asked him, well, that's what he told I'm me. I'm sorry, but that's, that's totally wrong. wrong. But I just they wanted some other thing. They wanted some money. They wanted some money. They wanted some money. There would be no dollars spent. I did not. That's totally false. There would be no dollars spent. No, that right. would be all done by right. them because it's on private property. Right. However, in order to give them incentive to do it, just like the rest of the roads within that complex, we would make that a dedicated road and then the city would maintain it. That's what we do with the rest of it. Well, I recall the meeting vividly when we had the meeting uh, last year. Uh, and I know exactly what was said and goes here. Nobody wanted to spend $700,000 on that cut through for him because it didn't make a sense. We have we have Macedonia roads that need $700,000. We don't need to be doing that to Mr. Stankovic. No, Well, it's the only Well, I, I get you. I get you. Well, let me put it this way. Compared and, and you, did, you obviously were more in favor of it, but everybody else was not. 
We just we, when you compare what we had to do with roads last year, and, re, and basically since we're on council here, and the number of roads within Macedonia that needed to be repaired, it was not sensible, in my opinion, and everybody else's I think, that we do that. Now we, we have no problem. No, we have no problem with there was engineering spent on this, but we have no problem with that. The problem was. When Mo Darwish was here, I asked him who was paying for it, and the people, the big box stores over there were going to pay they for it. Uh, there was not they, going to be, Northfield Center didn't they want, want they didn't want to pay for it, Northfield Center didn't want to participate, so it was falling on Macedonia, he made that very clear, and $700,000 worth of road repair for Macedonia is a lot of roads, as it compared to uh, this cut in and cut out over there. So that's the reason that I ne have never said that I would support $700,000 worth of road, re road cut in for two degrees. No. Well, that's what was on the table at that time, $700,000 to do that cut through. And nobody had money, and we didn't need it. That's all that was said. $700,000 that we would have to get money for a no, we weren't going to get an assessment. I, I talked to North Hill Center. They were in favor of an assessment. Either. Oh, well, that's how it would work. Uh, well, I understand if we... Get it done with funding and then we pay it with assessments. And they wouldn't go along with that. Right. End the story. Right. right. They wouldn't. Uh, I agree. It's a moot point because it was a rumor. Right. 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 Are we adjourned for uh, yes. yes. Thank you. There I can. We're done for a while. We're done. Yes. Yes.